and welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming and Riverview Farm. We are back and continuing on with our farming exploits here on Riverview and we are going to get straight into it. So we have, as you probably have already seen, progressed through to November. Um, we finished off our contract work with cultivating. Um, we did do a couple other little jobs, but we didn't bother recording them because we just wanted to get out of the way. Anyway, so then we fast forward a little bit and we're now in November. So we now have a field ready to harvest, uh, field 16 over here. Um, but we also have um, a sell time for canola oil. So if we have a look at our um, prices guide, canola oil, uh, currently sitting at 5,620 5, or 35, depending on which shop we go to. Um, and it's at its current high. So um, it, it makes sense to go and sell that now um, while we can. So we're going to do that right now. So I'm going to grab the case here. We're going to take that over and um, we're going to sell that as quick as we can and make some money. So we're going to come over here. I'm going to grab just the canola oil, hopefully no sheep bales or wool bales, I should say, or correctly. All right, there we go. Now, I'm just going to confirm where we're going. Um, what was it? Moon dogs or stews. And moon dogs and stews is over here. Uh, there's stews over there. So that's where we're going to go. The, the normal shop we go to. So let's go. Let's go get that done. And then we're going to get into the harvest per se. All right. So we just want to get this done so we get a bit of extra money into the bank. Um, we're going to pay down that loan and or purchase field five, which we've been talking about um, as our priority. But uh, we'll see how things pan out with that. Um, haven't checked the used equipment shop. Um, only because I'd be tempted to buy stuff. And at the moment, I don't think there's really anything we really need right at this point in time. So there's no real point going off and um, and looking and buying because we do tend to just buy stuff because it's nice and shiny and new and it'd be just nice to have. So um, we're going to leave it for now and we are going to come back and, uh, and see how we go. All right. Yeah, screaming out through here. No traffic coming that I can see. I'll get this done lickety split. Get in, get it sold, get back. So this should make us what what is it about four thousand is it is it gonna be about twenty grand's worth for four pallets? Is it gonna be that much? I think it is. We'll find out soon enough. Anyway. Tractor needs a bit of a cleanup. Just noticed it's a bit dirty. We go flying around through the back streets of the village through here. I say flying. Flying in the speed of the tractor can go anyway. 53Ks. Coming up to our turn off now. Now, I have been toying with possibly making a change to the map too to, to make this so it's easier to get into. Um, I don't know how easy it's going to be for me to make that change. I did think about pulling out the bridge altogether and just putting in a, um, a, a land connection. So basically just extending the land out and just covering that area. Um, I, I'm not so sure. I don't, I don't know. I might experiment with it and see because it's just... It makes it difficult to bring bigger trailers... I mean, I'm not talking about bringing big um, loads of, um, where am I going? I'm not talking about bringing in huge loads of from a, from a um, road train or anything else like that. Um, I just want to bring in, so say, so a Flegel trailer or whatever else that we, we can get around. 11,000. Is that all we've done? Oops, wrong key. Uh, how about that? 11,000. Okay. Oh, that's right, because they're not a full 1,000 litre pallet, are they? Okay. All right, that's okay. Let's do a bit of extra money in our, in our back pocket. So we've got 75 grand now. Be nice. So what we might do is we might just use that and just pay down the loan. Will probably be the initial thing for this. And uh, we'll be good to get. But I do, I do want to sort of make it so as we can get around here with, a, with some slightly bigger trailers. Uh, even, because I mean, even this trailer will get caught coming onto that bridge. So um, I'm, I'm sure Cavalier Roy won't mind. 
um, as long as I don't butcher the map entirely, which I probably will end up doing. But um, I might have a bit of a play in GE and see what I can uh, I can do. Uh, if I pull the map, there are there are some bridges you can get um, now as well um, as mods. So I may even just pull the bridge out from the map altogether and just put in a temporary bridge, so to speak. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll have a look at that a little bit later and, and we'll see exactly where we go to with that. Um, but I think we'll, we'll end up doing something with it. Um, just make it a little bit more, like I said, a little bit easier to get around, but it doesn't need to be uh, modified to take road trains or anything else like that. We still want to keep the, the fact that we're using small to medium equipment, um, but uh, it'd be nice to get a Flegel trailer in there so we can actually take a little bit extra over the shop as we need to. So, all right. So now we're going to head back over in here. We're going to grab the combine harvester. We're going to take that over to the field. Um, we'll start harvesting our canola, and then, um, and then yeah, so we can put that up into the uh, into the processing plant, and we can start producing some oil. So I'm going to go down through here as the dog goes crazy. Oh, how did I get that pallet there? Did I lose a pallet? Oh, hang on. Did I <laughs> did I drop some pallets off or not? How did that pallet get down there? It must have come off. I had, had the straps on. I'm sure I did. Maybe it did. No, I didn't. Oh, wow. Well, there you go. So what we've done is we've actually lost pallets. We didn't actually sell them all. <laughs> Oh dear duck. Right. So there's there's some of our profits there. There's two thousand litres. Right. Um right. any any more? We'd lose some more. That'll make sense. I probably only sold two pallets worth. That's what happens when I'm going in um in cab driving. I tend to lose stuff. Right, let's go. We'll try that again. <laughs> We gotta get some more money. It's alright, we got time. You'll notice also we, we did remove the trees here on the uh, the right hand side near the, the greenhouses, just the rear of the greenhouses. Just to make it a bit easier so we can get in and out of there as well. Um, and uh, do all that. I oh, really have to be careful to see where I've lost any pallets. Hopefully it was only, hopefully it was only those two that I lost. But I did go flying around the street, didn't I? So it could be anywhere. Man, that's not that's not a good start to the day, is it? No. Right. Mm -hmm. I think it must have only been. It's only been those two that I lost. Which should be surprising considering the speed I did come around through here. We'll have a look and see. Is any around this corner? Definitely not. Alright, maybe maybe it was just the two pallets I lost. Find out with how much money we we'll make here. If we make another eleven grand. Which is basically what we thought we were going to make about 20 grand. That's fine. Um, then we'll be okay. I haven't seen any more pallets on the road, so I think I think we've been okay. I think we've only lost those two. Uh. Which is still isn't great, but anyway. It could have been far worse. Oh dear. Right, as I said, I said this many times, you get to see the uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly here at uh, Ducks of the Gaming. We don't uh, edit out all the bad things. If if we do something wrong, you get to see it. And there's lots of get doing things wrong. Let's face it. All right, second load, even though we didn't need to do a second load. We're just looking after the suspension of the trailer, that's all. 
All right, there we go. So another eleven thousand. So that was twenty, yeah, twenty-two thousand dollars we made from effectively the four pallets of canola oil. Much better. That's what I was expecting. Right. Alright, so we'll head back now for the second time. As we run into that. I knew I was going to run into that. Anyway, we're going to run. As we run, run into that fence, we're going to head back. We're going to grab the combine and get started with our um, harvest. Now we've lost a good 11 minutes. <laughs> anyway, that's okay. We might give you an extra couple of minutes just to, just to make up for it. So with the canola, we're going to, um, as we said before, we're going to harvest that The as we empty the combine off, because we'll, I, I expect once we've done the header row, we'll get the combine running um, with the hired hand, and then we'll be taking, when we unload the combine, we'll take it straight up to the production facility. So as we straight away start commencing the production of our oil. Um, now, with the canola, the best selling times is November and December. Um, so what we produce now won't be sold until next year, effectively. So, um, it's, it's not going to be a pro uh, an immediate profit for us, um, once we do produce it, but it just means that, uh, this time next year, we'll be able to have a good, um, amount of product, hopefully for sale, and we will make a fair whack of money for that at that point in time. Now we've got a fair bit of wool coming in now too, so we need to consider whether we're going to do um, get a spinnery and then also a tailor. Um, I would like to do that because it's a nice, easy construction, or uh, sorry, um, a nice, easy production flow in relation to the amount of effort we have to put in. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll, I'm not so sure that we, that's exactly what we're going to do yet. So. All right, anyway, let's grab the combine and the header and we'll head on over to the field. Take out the hedge. Okay. Without taking the shed out. All right. All right. Without taking the tractor out. Oh, just bump wheels. Mean. All right. So we're going to head on over, get this done, and then um, good to go. I can't. Remember, I don't think we've actually used this yet, have we? I don't think we've actually. I don't think we've actually used it. I think we've used it a little bit, maybe on one field, with the other header. Um, but anyway, doesn't matter. It's nice and new still. Well, new for a second hand uh, combine, new to us. Get up, get up through here. I'm going to start unfolding. This could be a disaster because we could get caught up on a tree limb or something, knowing my luck. Uh, we'll unfold ready to go. And then um, we'll head on in and uh, start the harvest. Now I'm probably going to utilise the neighbours, part of the neighbours field down here uh, and put the header trailer on there, or just on the adjacent grass area of the field anyway, um, and then uh, poke the header and then switch through the, um, the hedge just to make it a little bit easier, because we don't want to take out any of the crop playing around with getting the header on or off, so um, we're going to do so. I'm sure the neighbour won't mind too much. Right, there we go. So we're going to disconnect the trailer. Like so now it, we have got some wet weather coming too, so that's going to impact on our um, on our harvesting. But well, and I just said I didn't want to wreck the bloody field, and I go and do that. Right. Okay.
Now, we wouldn't be able to do this if we had one of the big, the big draper headers or whatever, but it works for now. And away we go. We begin the harvest again. <clears throat> so we'll do a header row, and then we'll um, maybe two, maybe two. I think I'll do two header rows, and then we'll um, we'll get the hired hand to take over, and we'll go and get uh, the tractor. Uh, we'll probably use the New Holland, and we'll get the double headed trailers. Pardon me, and. Um, We'll use those to offload up to the processing plant. I hope you're enjoying the series here on a river view. Um, I'm enjoying playing it. It's a bit of a, a different uh, play that we normally do. We normally go big as quick as we can sort of thing, but um, we are restricting ourselves as best we possibly can um, and it's actually enjoyable in a way um, just to play it a little bit differently here and there oh I do have also have a look at the leasing cost too uh, we're not going to bother leasing any fields because um, <laughs> well I mean I, I say that I mean so if I want to lease a field right, I've got to pay 2% of the purchase price and then an ongoing price per day, which is which is fine. I don't mind that. However, I think the mod itself has some calculation issues because I looked at field five, um, which is one hundred and ninety-five thousand dollars to buy the field. Yet my cost for leasing was sixty-five thousand, so it's a little bit more than two percent. So I've got to have a look at that. I I don't know if it's the numbering of the fields is is different to the numbering of the zones or whatever, um, but. Um, yeah, either way, we'll have a look at that. Right, and then we're going to... Um, what was I saying? Sorry, I had to talk to one of the kids. Um, what was I going to say? Anyway... We are just going to continue. Oh, that's right, for the leasing of the fields. So, yeah, I'm going to have a look at the, the leasing and see if it's just uh, the numbering of the fields or the, the, the farm zone that, that encompasses the field is a different number and whatever else and work that out. So, um, we'll have a look at that and then see if it's worthwhile doing it. But if it's 65000 to lease a field that's going to cost us 195000 to buy, um, that's that's a bit of a waste of money so I would figure that um, let's see if I can do quick math so 195,000 um, it should cost us about 10,000 to lease uh, and then the ongoing lease fee of 500 or whatever so um, that's that's all well and good but as long as it's working correctly I don't mind paying 2% Yeah, so the leasing, the leasing is is still an option. Um, however, I just need to make sure that um, the fields and the zones are, are aligned. I know which ones we're we're picking correctly. So we'll have that a little bit later, possibly. But um, for now, we're just going to um, continue on as I put the time back to where we should be. Okay. Right now, the sun starts coming out before the rain comes. But hopefully we can get a, a bit of this done before the rain does hit. Where are we at? We're at thirty-seven percent full. So we'll just continue on, and uh, yeah, I think we'll I think we'll set him up. Uh, actually, no, I, I do want to do two two header rows. It's just just to make sure we're not going to have any errors or problems with the with the AI running into trees and stuff like that. It's just that, that safety buffer of having the extra the extra width available to us or extra um, 
space available at the end of the field when it does its runs and, and turns. Um, so yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm sort of going in and out of the uh, of microphone at the moment because I'm having to deal with my two children, two of my children, that um, just aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing. So, you know, the joys of being a father of five. Right. <clears throat> okay, so we'll do this run, then we'll do the next, we'll go over to the top over there, and then that's what we'll do, we'll just, we'll finish that there, that'll be fine. Right, so we just hit 50% for the combine, which is fine. You don't see how much we get done before the rain comes out. I think we're about to get the rain now, actually. The rain's coming in. That's fine, all that means is we'll, we'll offload now and then um, as soon as the rain hits and then we'll uh, take up the processing plant and then we'll just have to wait until the uh, the rain clears. We might fast forward a little bit just until the rain clears. I mean, we could just continue to, to harvest through the rain. I think, what is it, 15% loss of yield or something? I can't remember what the figure is. Let me know in the comments down below if you know exactly what the figure is. But... Um, yeah, I can't remember. Um, but I think I think it was 15%. Um, so it's not a huge impact, but um, you've only got small crops and small fields. 15% um, can take a bit of a bit of a chunk out of your, your profits, or you take take a chunk out of your yield as well. Obviously, that's if you're not selling your crop off and you're using it for feed or whatever else, I mean you're still going to have a 15% loss whether it be loss of crop itself or loss of the money from selling the crop, so, anywho, right, we'll get this, this section down through here done and when we get to the turn we'll just uh, line him up, let him go, he can have at it. One thing though, I, with the good thing I guess in a way, bad thing in another, is if you do have the hired help running a combine in the rain uh, and it does start raining, they don't stop harvesting. They just go, well, I'm out of your harvesting, I'm going to keep on going, I don't care. Um, now, that could both be a good thing and a bad thing. Um, depends on how you want to run it. But um, for myself, I, I wouldn't mind it if it stopped. Um, but, um, but anyway, all right, so he's now underway. And we're going to go grab the Genesis. Where is Genesis? See him. There he is there. And we'll grab the trailers and we'll come in and offload. Hopefully before it does rain. All right. Off we go up the hill. I do like this little section here how it's all turned out now, but... Um, Trailers are tucked in between the processing facility and the silo. We, we tidy things up a little bit up here, ready to come up and mow, because this grass is also ready to mow. So we need to come up and mow that as well to, to stockpile some more grass up as well, uh, which we are really in need of doing. And away we go. Doing his first turn now, the combine, which is good. What's that? Seventy-six percent. So we won't be offloading him till he gets at the other end, or until it starts raining, whichever comes first. Right. 
Much easier now we got rid of the move the tree over the out of the way a little bit here. We we don't get caught up as easily, even if we do stay right on the path of the road. But um, it's much better. Alright, so we're coming up here. We'll just sit off here and we'll wait for him to finish and turn around and then we'll um we'll offload him. Alright, so let's have a look. I'm gonna to check to see what I haven't checked our animals. I'm hoping they've still got some food. Um food there, you go. The, the cows are gonna be fine. Uh 551 litres of milk at the moment, which is fine, yeah. So we're we're about in, in need of actually feeding them again, which is fine. So that's okay. Um, harvesting this field, this field will be next to be ready. So our wheat field will be next ready, and then these two fields here, our canola field, that we can bind the fields, they'll be the next on the uh, on the ready list. And then we're back to rinse and repeat again, and the cycle continues. me up next to the combine. Well, it helps if we actually don't offload in between the trailers. We need to on offload into the trailer. I'm going to get that going. I'm going to get the production facility up and running again straight away. I'm not going to worry about mucking about and waiting. Because <clears throat> that way we can produce some more oil. And if we do happen to get some oil that's... Um, well, actually, we've got December, haven't we? So we've got November and December for canola oil. So if I can get some canola oil produced between now and the end of December, um, then whatever we get produced, we can sell off. And then that way we can actually make a bit more money. Um, from this harvest, so we'll, we'll get that done. It makes just makes sense to do that. And that's fine. So we'll get that done. I just want to see what my tip side is set to. Tip side set to back. Tip side left. Right. So yeah. So what we'll do is we'll just get the, um, the production up and running again. And um, that way we can make sure that we've uh, given our best chance to, to get some more money before the end of the year. I mean, if I happen to get another four pallets, that's another another 20 grand in our, in our uh, skyrocket, our back pocket. So um, it, it would just make some sense to do that where we can. Go. And we'll go down and turn the production on because the production is turned off at the moment. So canola oil. Uh, I'm gonna activate that one. There we go. Alright, and we'll head back. Excellent. Nice, nice, nice. Threat of rain. It's actually doesn't look to be a bad day at the moment. Still nice and sunny, bright. But that's pretty much the end of the episode today. So, um, yeah, what we'll do is we'll continue on with the harvest. We'll come back towards the end of the harvest uh, or after that the rain has hit 
and uh, continue on from there. We won't probably get too much further on from that. But um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying the uh, the series. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, press that like button because that really helps us with the Google algorithm. Uh, that beast that everyone's fearful of. Um, but anyway, yeah, so help us out with that. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing as well. Um, we would appreciate it and I'd like to have you here with the Ducks or the Gaming crew. Um, and if you do press that subscribe button, make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware of when more videos like this are available on the channel. And of course, don't forget to come and join us on Twitch, Twitter, Discord and Facebook. Details of all those are down below in the description as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves and your loved ones and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Solar Gaming and Riverview Farm. See you later. Bye. -bye.